I've been avoiding this all weekend so I can record my first reaction to the Illuvium gameplay trailer. This released over the weekend and I have family responsibilities that I take care of, but I've been chomping at the bit because I've been seeing previews of some of my friends videos coming up and I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm definitely going to take a look at this when it comes out closer. Listen, you guys, this is a sponsored breakdown of this trailer, but I could not be more excited about the game and this video. So let's just let's just react to it. Let's just jump right in. OK, headphones on. And here we go. That's the ship crashing. Okay. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Okay. Is this the intro sequence? <gasps> hey, look, hi. Oh, this is gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> this is, this is gonna get struck. Copyright music. Oh my gosh. So I'm wondering if this is the intro sequence of the game. Hey girl, what's happening? <laughs> Some nice army you got there. And this is our little assistant. Fight for E, baby. Mm, there's the arena. And the summons. Oh, that's an alluvial that I've never seen before. Yeah, pull out that sword, girl. Oh, is that some sort of palace back there? Oh, yeah, deep breath. Let's get it. So, ranged weapons too, I love it. I love this so much, man. You'll be able to use a tank? Uh-huh. Oh. Trapping him? Or trying to? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a Triceratops looking thing. That oh yes, flight! Look at the world! It's like uh man, it's got no man's sky vibes, like for real. And it's captured Illumials. Maybe some evolution. Good stuff. Yeah. We got a finishing move? We got we gonna have some finishing moves, y'all? Oh. We've come long, long Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Together. Good choice of song too. Fight for E. Man. Three minutes and 27 seconds of absolute craziness. Okay, let's break it down. All right, so we're going to go through this. I'm going to be able to pause it and kind of talk about what I'm thinking instead of just reacting now that we kind of know what it's about. So first of all, they showed this little step. So this looks like a starter pit. Now, I don't know if you're going to have the choice to pick different alluvials, but if this intro, if this is an intro sequence and not just like a cinematic opener, maybe you'll be able to pick a certain starter pet based on like getting your character generation and actually starting the game. At least that's what I'm hoping. If not, they showed this guy evolved a little bit later on. So maybe it's going to be kind of like Pokemon Isk. If you're not familiar, by the way, Illuvium is a pet collecting game. Like you'll be able to tame stuff. I did a video kind of introducing some of the game concepts earlier. 
but guys, look at the, I just want you to notice something real quick. Look at the lightning's reflection on the water and the way that the light is cast. Like, <laughs> it's, the lighting is so gorgeous in the game. So yeah, I'm thinking that this is more or less, um, more or less intro sequence. But, you know, sometimes when you're starting in the game, they'll do some small cutscenes, like getting started. That's what this looks like because she's approaching a person on the field, right? Like in this battle arena and there's another person in the same type of armor. So this is either going to be, in my opinion, somebody that is already crash landed on the planet. That's from our race. That's kind of showing us how to tame alluvials and how to fight with them or like a sparring partner, so to speak, or just a new person. Or it could be somebody that's competitively and actively trying to keep us, uh, I guess, you know, like a power struggle type deal. It could be an adversary. But from the way it looks, it doesn't look like that much of an offensive take outside of the creatures, right? So this might just be like a little tutorial section. Like, let me show you the ropes and how all of this takes place. But this is what a full battle arena is going to look like now. The opponent has five alluvials on the board, and they look much more advanced, which also, we have a couple of advanced, well, one advanced alluvial that we didn't see last time, this big old rhino that looks like that we kind of captured. I don't know if it's a rhino or a trike or uh, the the competition, <laughs> the, the, the same type of uh, deal, or, or maybe, maybe one of the, uh, something similar, a species similar. So right here, they're showing her starter pet going up against two scorpion type creatures. So some of the alluvials look the same, but keep in mind that if they're the same type of creature, this or the same looking creature, two scorpion insect type of creatures, it could have to do with the biome that they're in, which looks very, very tropical, by the way. Like this is like alien tropical. The 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 flora is incredibly colorful. It almost looks underwater, like some of the plants almost look like they're aquatic, you know? And there's a bunch of coral type rocks or beach. I wonder if that has anything to do with that. But the fact that she's shooting while her character is tanking, that's really, really cool. A lot of gun-based weapons, not just melee. I wonder if there's gonna be skills uh, about the different ones. And look at all the alluvials on the field right now. We saw the cat type creature. We saw the, the fire type creature. I don't know if this one's relatively new. And of course, we've seen the scorpion type creatures before. Looks like she had some sort of a charge shot. This thing looks incredible. I wonder if you're going to be able to mount some of these creatures and use them to get around the world. And what is the portal? The fact that that kind of looks like the way that you would capture them. This, by the way, is unbelievable. She's got a jetpack that she's kind of flying around the world. And so far, the biome looks considerably close to what she saw last time, except not quite. It was more pink this time. So that's the alluvials and how you're going to have them captured. And she's using three of them in that same kind of portal looking thing in order to get an evolved creature. And that's it right there. Look how much bigger it's gotten. And it shows her with the sword back there. And there's another scene of the large fight and a lot of the alluvials that we've seen already. Also, this doesn't... Oh, yep, that is the opponent. So, I don't know, man. That kind of looked like a, a, she was trying for a killing blow right there. I don't know. Maybe it is an enemy, you know? So here's some more footage that I actually got from the team. And there's a few things I'm noticing about this. First of all, the amount of sound effects coming from all of the animals and <laughs> everything, there's a lot. You see their little scouting bot here? Look, I'm gonna put my mouse on it. That you see it right here? That's what I'm talking about. That's kind of interesting. So there's a few things going on right here that I've noticed. First of all, when the alluvial dies, you see like their essence or <laughs> the currency that gets fed. That one uh, alluvial that she had, had a, some sort of shield ability that persisted. And also, 
as well. The battle that's taking place in the middle right here is really, really cool. But the, they're, they're seeming like they're switching targets sometimes from the player to the alluvial. And I wonder if that's threat that's generated, like aggro based on DPS and stuff. If you ever played an MMO and you, you'll see when, like, sometimes the DPS or the healers will get targeted. Oh, that's a really, really cool looking... Is that that big turtle that we saw from the last video? Oh god, that would be so cool. Also, what are the... Do you see how they had those circles above? Let me roll back just a second here. Circles above their heads. Is that a status effect or is that a buff? I wonder if you're going to have active skills when it comes to that. And is this an auto-battler type deal of any kind? Like, will you be able to have auto-battling? Now, ah, uh, the tokens are all going to the bot. Or the essence is all going to the bot. The little three-legged? Oh, man. So, the arenas are changing, too. The uh, other arena had the alluvial symbol on it. And this is more of a purple. Another thing is the purple has two of the avatars in it. Oh no, does it have two avatars or one? Yeah, it does have both avatars. So purple seems like it would be maybe a sparring arena versus or a PvP versus the 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 light colored one with the alluvium symbol on it could be just pve or something that the battles would take place in the real world now you see the two <laughs> they're just fighting it on their own one of them doesn't have a weapon more just like powers and then they do have a weapon. so weapons might be optional you might actually have a loadout difference that's available too this is very very interesting also just a, just in general having a spectator mode like this would be great for matches man being able to replay your matches and stuff to show your friends Axie has some of that that would be cool i really wonder what that alluvium symbol was for on the pve deal because it matched up with the palace the fact that they had that palace back there in the very very beginning of the video too kind of makes me think that there's going to be a uh a, a, a larger kind of maybe like an instanced deal for pve or maybe that's where some of the PvP is actually... Uh, maybe that's where some of the bigger battles would take place. I'm not really sure about PvP. But look, in the background right there, you see it? It's right behind him. That symbol, the Alluvium symbol, is right behind him. Also, this arena that they're in looks a little bit different, like a different biome. No, it's the same one. It's the same one because of all the beach and the coral and stuff. Man, 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 man. It looks really, really good, though. The opening scene where they're cra where she's crashing, too, looks um looks really good. That's a lot of water. The biome kind of looks the same. So a lot of a lot of what was happening here, it looks like was done kind of around the same biome. That looks real foresty, though, and not quite as colorful. Maybe up close with the lighting is a little bit different. And the water is absolutely gorgeous. I really love this scene too. She reaches out her hand like needs help. And look how just soft the eyes are. Like you can tell they're here to help. This is so good, man. I, look, guys. Y'all didn't know by now I'm really, really hype on this game. Right now, the token is... It has, has valued so much. The crypto's pumping right now. So the Alluvium token is very, very expensive. It's almost $1,000 a token right now. A lot of people saying that it's still undervalued. <laughs> <laughs> very, very interesting all together, guys. But I'm very, very happy that the Alluvium gave me the opportunity to, to do a sponsored breakdown of this trailer. And I couldn't be more excited uh, to get into the game, guys, and get all into the universe. Listen, guys, all of the links in the description below. Make sure to check them out. They're going to point you to the Discord community and the website where you can find out all about their information as, as well as more of their social media and my discord where you can pop in and talk to us about blockchain games or nfts all day long we discuss this stuff 
pretty regularly and I'm a big avid gamer and into this stuff personally. I have a lot of investments in a lot of crypto games and products and I've been playing games for a long time. So I'd love to see you around the community guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lujan signing off and we'll see you next time.